damaging wind gusts with the passage of a cold front. Severe weather warning has been updated by the Bureau of Meteorology for damaging winds for the Illawarra's, the South Coast Central Tablelands, Southern Tablelands and the Snowy Mountain Forecast District. This is Force 13's AU channel. On the screen is a look at the Himavari 8 satellite view of Australia's Western region and some imagery of various Doppler radars. A strong cold front will cross the state on Thursday bringing vigorous westerly winds in its wake. Damaging wind gusts exceeding 90 km an hour are possible about the eastern parts of the central tablelands, southern tablelands and the snowy mountains in addition to higher parts of the south coast and through the inner wire from late Thursday afternoon or evening. These winds are expected to ease Friday morning. Locations which could be affected would have gone now about uh, Katuba, Goldburn and Bombarda. The Bureau of Meteorology has a gale wind warning in place for the Eden Coast. Strong wind warning the Sydney Close Waters, the Byron, Goffs, Macquarie, Hunter, the Sydney, Itawaya and Bateman's case. Bureau of Meteorology New South Wales also has a uh, fire weather warning for the far north coast. North coast, Great Hunter, North New England, Northern Slopes and the North Western Fire Districts. Warm, dry and windy conditions associated with the cold front crossing the state will result in elevated fire dangers for the northeast of the state. The go wind warning is in place for the west coast and the east of Gippsland coast. A strong wind warning for the Port Phillip Bay, Western Port, the Gippsland Lake, Central Coast, Central Gippsland coast. Strong wind warning is in place for the Sunshine Coast waters, Morton Bay and the Gold Coast waters. Fire weather warning continues for the Darling Downs and the Granite Belt Forecast District. Severe fire dangers are forecast for the Darling Downs and Granite Belt today. Service trough over the southern interior will move slowly eastward Reaching the southeast Queensland this afternoon, fresh northwesterly winds ahead of the trough will turn west to southwesterly over the Darling Downs of Granite Belt in the wake of the trough. Gusty thunderstorms possible severe with the potential for cloud to ground lightning strikes may affect the Darling Downs with the passage of the trough. On the screen is a look at the instability from 7am through to 1300 hours tomorrow followed by uh, storm probabilities and supercell probabilities. Sydney currently 17.6, Melbourne is 10.3, Brisbane 20.3, Perth 10.5, Adelaide 11.2, Hobart a cool 4.8 Camber 10.8, Darwin is 23.6 and the maximum temperatures expected in each of the capital cities Sydney 28, 15 Melbourne, 33 Brisbane, Perth 23, Adelaide 17, Hobart 16, 16 also in Canberra 
and a very high 35 up there in Darwin. For Sydney, becoming windy, sunny afternoon, a few showers in Melbourne, shower or two, possible storm developing Brisbane, Perth, mostly sunny, possible morning shower down there in Adelaide, Hobart, fog, afternoon shower or two, possible shower and windy in Canberra, morning smoke, then sunny up there in Darwin. Now we have a look at the Bureau's total forecast of rain. We will uh, continue to bring uh, the latest uh, information on the local weather scene and please keep an eye on the main channel. Nathan is uh, planning to go live with a special uh, program and bye for now. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.